Okay, hey guys, it's Zach. Um, this video, I'm going to make it real quick and simple for those people that get their computer, turn it on, and get a black screen, and then it becomes a blinking, um, looks like a little cursor, but it's not really cursor. It's just a blinking. Uh, what it is, is it's trying to load to the hard drive before it goes into Windows, or after that, it's going to go into Windows. So um, I had a couple computers have this problem. And I call this the, the boot uh, record virus. I call it the boot record virus. Now, this, the reason I call this the boot record virus, virus is exactly what it does. It gets on your boot record. And the reason it's not very well protected is because once it is excuse, it, um, how come the camera is over there? There we go. Can see much better. Okay, once the virus executes itself, it has already done the damage. Um, basically, it overwrites your your Windows um, on your hard drive. On the hard drive, it overwrites how it boots up, and for some reason, it will stall. So when you turn the computer on, it just shows a black screen, shows the hard drive. And you know it recognizes the hard drive, but it doesn't make it past that. It just shows a white, um, like a tilde, or a white line, just a couple white lines like this, and it just or just keeps one spot. It just loads forever. It doesn't come up with Windows. It doesn't come up with um, anything Windows related. So the only way to bypass this, and I figured it out, that is a nice way. There's actually, excuse me, two ways to bypass. One is erasing the hard drive and starting all over. That is a for sure way always. But the second way, it, which I just found out today because I had uh, some time and I spent all day on the computer experimenting to figure out how can I get around this. Because if Deep Freeze can't protect you from this, then nothing can. And I know a lot of antivirus can't protect you from almost anything. Um, the reason Deep Freeze doesn't protect you from this is because it goes inside before Windows. Um, so once it's ex uh, executed is what I mean. Once the file executes itself and does the damage to your hard drive, it's just there. Um, so you can get around this by having DOS fix it for you. Thankfully, Windows does have a way, but it's only in the DOS prompt. So DOS is going to save your ass. But here's how we're going to do it. Um, so if you're suffering from this black screen that I'm talking about with that white that line just waiting, and it can't get to your hard drive, this is what you're going to have to do. Um, now trust me on this, but don't hold me accountable because I'm going to tell you the very first thing you should do is take that hard drive out, put it in another computer, and copy everything from it. The second thing you're going to do is get a Windows boot up disk. And you're going to go into your BIOS and tell it to boot up to your Windows disk. Now once you boot up to your Windows disk, you um, have it repair the hard drive. So you're going to hit R, and it's going to take you to the DOS prompt. Now when you get to the DOS prompt, it's going to ask you for your administrative password and blah, blah, blah. But basically what you're going to do is it's going to say where Windows is installed, hit enter to exit. You don't want to hit enter. You want to hit the number that it is. It usually just says one in Windows. So you hit one, hit enter, and then you get your DOS prompt where you can type in what you want. Now I've learned DOS things since I was a little little kid. Um, so this was very helpful right away and I thought, you know, maybe we can go around this. I had tried, and trust me, I had tried multiple ways, but I just could not get it to work. And this other computer, this is the steps that I did and it actually worked. So thank you. I kicked the virus in its ass, basically. Um, the first thing you want to type in is check disk. Now you type this in with chkdsk uh, space, and I guess that's a forward slash R. Let's kind of just show check disk space forward slash R. I believe that's forward slash. Now you're going to let that run, and it might take you about 10 minutes. Um, then you're going to type in fix boot. Let that run, and fix MBR, master boot record. Um, 
After that, yes, you turn off the computer or type in exit and turn on your computer and guess what? It bypasses. It goes right in and loads Windows the normal way it used to. For some reason, this is the only way that I found and I did all three of these together and it worked. Um, I tried them separately before. It did not work, so I'm guessing that the process had to be there. I'm not really sure. There was some other stuff I had done too, but it wasn't working, so I don't even I don't even think it's worth suggesting. Um, this is what made it work. Now, another symptom of this is if your hard drive is messed up, definitely like a hard you have a hardware failure. But you would know you'd have a hardware failure if it just says. Um, if you're scanning it, and chances are it freezes for a long ass time and doesn't move at all. Um, so I knew it wasn't a hardware failure. There was something software related or what we call uh, boot set. It was on the master boot record, but boot sector, whatever. Um, basically, I got fixed. I got done, and I'm your hero for this. If you don't know this, you should definitely know it now because if I'm suffering from this and I'm way up there on the heck, the tech stuff, way up there, this is going to happen to a lot of other people. You are going to suffer this exact same problem, and when it does, you be glad I told you how to get bypass it so you can get done with it 10, 30 minutes compared to hours, hours, and taking it to your tech person to have fixed up, which they can't figure it out and then you spend hundreds of dollars. Now, I'll say, say two things. I'll say two things. Um, doing this method will say that it could damage your data. That's why I said copy it. Now, if you have no other choice, what would you rather have? A paperweight book? desktop, notebook, whatever, laptop, netbook. Would you rather have a paperweight or would you rather try this? That's why I say you have to copy the hard drive. I'm not responsible if you can't copy your own data and you destroy your own drive because you don't know what the heck you're doing. This is me telling somebody how to fix their computer if they have the same master um, boot record virus. Okay. That is what that is. I don't know how else to say that, but um, sometimes I talk too fast. And um, basically, if this happens to me, like I said, it's going to happen to you at some point. Um, it's not going to happen to everybody, but someone that's watching this video has probably come here just because it's happened to them. And it can easily happen just going on the internet, not downloading anything. All I did was go to some websites, and boom, it happened. Uh, I turned off my computer, and I could not get it back into Windows. That black screen with the loading tilde underlined, whatever. It just couldn't get to the hard drive to boot correctly. It didn't know how. Um, so <clears throat> all we use is the Windows disk to get to the DOS prompt and do this. Now, if you have any other questions, just message me. But I would rather anyone that suffers from t technical problems like this should subscribe, hit the subscribe button over here, and uh, comment or whatever, be my friend. I don't care. And again, I don't care how many subscribers I get, but you know, knowing somebody that knows how to do things is a big plus, and having me on your subscription is two big things. One for me, one for you, because anytime I do a video, you get to see it. And I do lots of videos from now on, um, especially since I have lots of cool things. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about my Desert Eagle, which I had fixed um, in my next video, which will probably be in the next few days. I will talk about how it messed up, which is pretty easy. The trigger right here, you push, you got the trigger button. There's like a button in here it wouldn't uh, push this way forward. And because of that, it wouldn't fire. Simply what was wrong was the screws right here needed to be tightened. And up here on this side and this side. And so once that was done, guess what? It started working again. 
this had the same problem where this came off, and I made a video for that. But you know what? I'm going to do a, a taking this apart because this is very easy to take apart. I'm very surprised at how well the gearbox area is made. It's a great gun. And, you know, it just got that bulkiness to it, that power, that boom, you're going to beat somebody up. This is what you're going to beat them up with. Yeah, that's how I feel good. Um, I feel very good after beating the shit out of that virus today and getting that computer up and running. And then telling people about it makes me feel much happier. So that's going to be it for now. Any questions, any comments, make sure you subscribe this way. <laughs> got that wrong. Um, yeah, if you have a problem with your computer, you can definitely text message me and I'll get you set up. That's it for today, guys.